you came back. Something terrible happened. What is it? I was just bringing you the patent you needed to set up shop. The Bod Irony came back, and they took my cousin away. He came to bring us animal pelts and new objects from the village. But the warriors came back. They took everything he was bringing me. And they also took him. Oh, I don't know what they will do with him. Please, bring him back to me. I don't see why they would have arrested your cousin. But I'll try to find out. Hello, Your Excellency. What can I do for you? I've come to see you again to talk about the Islander merchant. I managed to obtain a license for him, but he informed me that while I was taking care of this, his cousin, who was making a delivery for him, was arrested. I'm sorry, Your Excellency. Especially considering you've managed to obtain an official authorization for him. I'm afraid my men ran out of patience when they saw this hunter making deliveries for the merchant again. They wanted to confiscate his cargo, but the lad resisted, and he was thrown in jail for disorderly conduct. If you want to set him free, that's where you must go. Sorry, again, Your Excellency. I should have known you'd managed to obtain the necessary license for your protégé and told the patrol. Is there anything else? No, thank you. Hello, what can I do for you? I'm looking for a prisoner. A native who should have been brought here recently. You're a bit late. He was sent to fight in the arena. In the arena? So this man was judged? Who pronounced the sentence? Whoa there! Do you really think that we would organize a proper trial for a savage? He attacked some guards. He's lucky he won't gun down right there and then. At least in the arena, he has a chance of survival, since apparently, he's a hunter. This man was only defending the goods he was bringing to his cousin. And now he has to fight for his life. I have no hand in this. I'm not the one who made this decision. They brought him here, and then they took him away, that's all. What did you do with the goods he had with him? They got confiscated, put in the storeroom, like all the rest. Anything else? I must leave you.
Well now, a visit. Can I help you with something? We are here concerning the matter of Recruit Rayner. Are you family or friends? You could say that. I'm the one who recruited the lad. I see. Well, what I can do is tell you what I can. When was the body brought to you? Day before yesterday, in the early morning. Can you tell me anything about the circumstances? All I know is what I was told by the fellows who brought the body to me. They said they'd spent the evening together at the tavern, that they'd had a great deal to drink. A horrid habit the soldiers all seemed to share. Rayner was not a drinker. Maybe not. All the same, he was drinking that night. He stepped outside for a moment and never came back in. His companions found him drowned in the bay early morn. And they brought him to me. How then did he die, in your opinion? He drowned. I'm sorry. It's regrettable. He was quite a young man. Yeah, and his death makes no sense. He didn't drink, and he knew how to swim. All the same, that's what happened. I greatly regret it. Might we take a look at the body? Um, no. I wouldn't recommend that. To see your friend in such a state. I'm a soldier, Doc. I've seen a number of men in pieces. Let me see the young lad. I... I regret, Captain, I cannot allow that. I have as of yet to present myself. I am Sir de Sardé, legate of the Congregation of Merchants on Tierfredi. And as the title infers, I have the power to inspect this barracks and all that it contains. Therefore, I must insist. I see. A thousand pardons, Excellency. I should have recognized you and shown more respect. It's the body in the middle. Examine him if you must. But please be so kind as to not leave a mess after you. is just a boy. His face is still locked in an expression of pain. Kurt, is this your recruit? Yes, that's my Rainer. Poor kid. I should have left him with his family where he was. If you want to learn more, we'll need to examine the body. Is that all right? He's not the first young man I've seen with the lights gone from his eyes. Go on. I'm no doctor. But this boy doesn't seem to have drowned at all. It looks like he's been beaten. Uh, it's suspicious. The boy I knew would never have drunk himself senseless to the point he'd fall into the bay, I'm telling you. I believe you, Kurt. But if we want to prove it, we'll need to find more evidence. Excuse me, Doctor, but you owe us a few explanations. This boy did not die by drowning. It is absolutely the cause of death, I assure you. The science of death is a complex art, and you are certainly not a doctor. That is true, but you are. Do you recognize your own notes? Your writing is hard to read, but the word drowning never appears. Oh, what an idiot! I should have burned those notes. I am truly sorry. I, I swear I have never, ever falsified a report before. But I was given no choice in the matter. How's that? What are you talking about? <laughs> Two men, uh, uh, lieutenants, I believe, brought a body to me telling me the boy had drowned in an accident. I saw immediately this was a lie, but I did not push the matter. I began my examination, planning to submit my report to the quartermaster as per usual. But the men returned. I was told to forget what I'd discovered, and say that he had indeed drowned, or else. Who were they? 
I have no idea. I had never seen them before at the barracks. I, I guess they're ranked by their uniforms. What colors were they sporting? None. They must have removed the emblems of their regiment. Listen, it's obvious that this boy was beaten repetitively, and that was the cause of death. I have no intention of suffering the same fate. Have no fear, Doctor. We will make no mention of your name. I'm divorced, Thierry. That means, may the earth welcome him. I am sorry for you, Kurt. Thank you, Siora. Hello, Your Excellency. What can I do for you? We have a situation, Manfred. Rayner didn't drown. The doctor falsified his report. He was threatened and feared for his own life. You have to be pulling me leg. Who bullied the crow face? Lieutenants that he didn't recognize, alas. And he wore no regiment emblems. Which regiment was Rayner assigned to? I would like to have a word with his commanding officer. Let me have a look at the register. My memory isn't what it once was. Stab my heart with a rusty blade. His name's been crossed out. Oh, if I catch the bastard that did that. What mess was the boy into, Manfred? What could this be about? Your lad was in the 6th or maybe the 11th, before being reassigned to who knows where. Just like that? You out of everyone have to know where the recruits are assigned. Not of late. This isn't the first lad who's been reassigned all of a sudden at the drop of a hat. Each time I start complaining about it, I'm told they've changed regiments. And it's not my concern. Something truly bizarre is going on here. I don't like this at all. Let's try and discover which company he was stationed at before this mysterious reassignment. Is there anything else? No, thank you. I need to get to the bottom of this mystery, Greenblood. I don't like being taken for a fool. Even if the lieutenants weren't stationed at these barracks, someone here must know where Rayner was assigned. We should also go and check the tavern. Men on leave will perhaps have looser lips than those within the walls. This part of the establishment is reserved for regular customers who paid an entry fee. Sorry, but I can't let you in. In that case, allow me to pay the fee. We're delighted to have you as a regular customer, Your Excellency. Have fun. Hello, Your Excellency. I hope you're having a pleasant time. Very well. Goodbye, soldier. Good day, and welcome to the arena. Is this your first time? It is. Excellent. The crowd just loves to see new faces. So, are you ready to rise to the challenge? Or would you like a little reminder of the rules before jumping in? 
Unless, of course, you're just here to go over the basics and get in some practice. I wish to fight alongside the island hunter that was captured. Really? You'd have to go in alone. Your friends will need to stay in the stands. Are you sure that this prisoner is worth risking your life for? This man has been the victim of terrible injustice. I cannot stand aside without doing anything. Oh, that's extremely noble of you. But it's just the sort of crazy idea that the crowd loves. <laughs> I have to warn you, though. If you want to fight now, you will lose your bonus in the running challenges. So, what'll it be? Justice cannot wait. I'm ready to fight. Excellent. In that case, the arena awaits you. You've won the affections of the crowd, and when the crowd makes a decision, it gets what it wants. You're free, prisoner. I owe you my life, on Manawi. Blessed be the winds that have blown you to my side. By what name should I address you? My name is the Sade. In fact, it's your cousin the merchant that sent me. Follow me. Let's go and find him. Ah, on old Menawi. Oh, I'm glad to see you again. Oi, oh, Ven. Oh, I'm so glad to see you alive. Then you must thank this on old Menawi. He fought to save me. Thank you. May the grass always be soft beneath your feet. Don't mention it. I also brought back your goods. May the trees always bear you fruit. We owe you a lot. You should go see Ulan. The chief of Vignamri, my village. He wants to be friends with the Renaigse. Since you are a legate, you could talk to him. <laughs> 